So you guys, I done did a whole video thinking that I'm like really getting the scoop. Didn't hear the video stop or anything, y'all. But, okay, look, and then they say stay ready. <laughs> okay, so definitely expect some like unexpected shit to happen. But um, what I was getting is like somebody is getting over a heartbreak here. There's an evil stepdad that's getting over a heartbreak. That is a Cancer or a Capricorn or this who the side person is that they were dealing with. This um somebody got a sugar daddy here also. Someone is pregnant and is going to the doctor. They're like really emotional asking like is this what is really going on in my life? A Taurus Gemini cusp or a Gemini Cancer cusp? Okay, if some this is an ex that's having attachment issues here, a masculine with a low haircut or a bald hair, um, they are playing with toys, a masculine playing with toys that is being killed from the gay agenda here. So it's like they're fighting their inner demons with whatever this gay agenda is that they got going on. Okay, so... Okay, Saturday, someone may have gotten, like, really fucked up on either drugs or alcohol here. If so, you guys definitely should contact me to book a reading with me. Because I have been, like I said, just going on and on with this reading. But I'm going to try to play it back. I did not move any cards. But I'm definitely going to try to play this back here. Like I said, someone is definitely stressed out because someone said that they realized that they deserve better than this. So you had someone that was a karmic here that was having controlling issues, explosive behavior, like they would blow up, especially if you found out that they were on dating apps and they are married or in a relationship with you. And it had you stressed the fuck out. And you're realizing like, look, I deserve better than that. <clears throat> you definitely do. Okay. They could be talking to other people in other states. So we have Pisces rising. Finally, I can breathe. Now that that weight is off my shoulder, this could be the person that you're leaving. You have a deceased parent here who is keeping tabs on you. They're watching you. They're protecting you. They're the go-to person. This female M through R has a sugar daddy that is their go-to person. Your guides are speaking to you about telling someone that you cannot deal with them. So, yeah, you got somebody that you you telling you can't be friends with them. You can't fuck with them. You can't deal with them. Okay, so for somebody that is um, a working person, like working really hard, a workaholic, someone who has like OCD, they... It's hard for them to sit down. You need to sit down and date your partner. Go maybe on lunch breaks. Take your partner out. Talk. Find clarity. Give your person clarity. Sagittarius rising. This is either you or someone doesn't have access to your energy or the Sagittarius rising doesn't have access to your energy. Someone has betrayed a chosen one here. And they curse themselves for playing with whoever this person is. Because they're their deceased father or whoever this deceased person is that's guiding them is not playing that shit. There's a female energy that's taking away the free will here. That is a clown. And someone's releasing this clown. 
Oh, you got a man. Well, that's cool. Give it a shot. So it's like they gave it a shot and now they're releasing it. Played a game. They was playing games with a good girl or a good dude the whole time they was playing themselves in the end. A loved one who has passed over is speaking to you. Okay. Um, Scorpio Sagittarius cuss, December 18th through the 24th. Capricorn and Aquarius cuss. January 16th through the 23rd, heart chakra, the ability to love others. So this person could be saying, please don't deny me. You're the flower that I got to protect. Okay, so female G through L, this person could have been the cut buddy or you could be finding out about this person having a cut buddy and you're ready to walk away. Or having the sugar daddy and you ready to walk away. So I'm kind of getting both energies here for this Libra moon and Leo moon. So this is femmes and masculine. So take it wherever it resonates with your particular situation here. There is a female that is pregnant or that is going to get pregnant. Okay, Sagittarius rising could be pregnant under spiritual attack. Someone could be going to the OBGYN. I was saying that also. Um, this deceased loved one is telling you that you deserve someone better. Your twin, this so films, your um your loved one is letting you know that you deserve a king. You deserve someone that is going to offer you loyalty for whoever this is that's pregnant. I feel like you're going to be living a life where you and your child is loved and is protected and nurtured. Okay, you will hear this from another tarot reader. So another tarot reader is going to say something about this. Someone has braids or dreads. This could be you. This could be your father. This could be the kid's father. This could be the one that has passed over. Okay, we have going to church to learn about your, um, you know, to help you learn about life. But I feel like that is evolving now because people are, you know, their tolerance is changing. And so they're realizing that people live their life without ever questioning their place, their purpose, the process of their life, or understanding morals. So you have to stop expecting loyalty from people who don't even understand that. Okay, you could be feeling like you're giving too much effort toward something. Um, your light's flickering. That is going to be another confirmation. We got the ninth house here. Um, yeah, look. See, they're telling you, you are more than enough and you give more than enough. Don't fall for whatever bullshit illusions that's trying to be portrayed to you. He broke. He ain't got nothing for you. Somebody's a liability here. Seth, somebody is just a liability. They're not going to bring anything but chaos, conflict, and confusion into your life. So you need to choose wisely. Yeah, look, Spear says, stop crying over that motherfucker. It's insulting to the universe. Shed that old skin. So if this is a person of the past, keep it pushing. You're being released from the pain, going right into blessings. Osiris, living your best life, not going back and forth with no fool who's unbothered. Then we have Aries and Taurus cusp, the cusp of power. You need to go to the herb shop. See what you can find there. Use Whatever tools you can for manifesting, herbs, candles. Yeah, start manifesting here. Almond Ra is out here. So, yeah, there's definitely message in the bottle. Yeah, somebody is definitely sleeping with both genders here. It was never about you. Okay, so the person that, whose person, it, this masculine, fems, you're masculine that's sleeping with both genders that like men and 